How's it going guys? Back with another how-to video for our channel. Um, I am using puzzle glue and I'm going to teach you how to glue this puzzle here. So I'm using Sherlock's puzzle glue. Uh, my camera wasn't recording earlier so that sucks. But uh, yeah, what you do is you take off this lid. There's another piece underneath there. You dab it across your whole puzzle. And what I did is just take a, take a brush and just wipe it across this whole thing and get every piece all covered up, which I'm doing here. You just wipe it across. Make sure you get every single spot. Hope everybody's having a good day. I wish I recorded the first part. Now I just sound crazy because I was talking to myself. So you just want to get every single part. What I'm going to do is probably uh, let this sit for two hours and then flip it over. Flip it over and glue the other side so it's super solid. It's gonna be hard to flip this, but hopefully it is solid, which it will be, because I hit every spot. It's gonna be really cool because you wanna preserve these things uh, in the condition, especially when you have kids and they're always picking at it, wanting to take it apart or just showing you something and they're pecking at it, you want to keep it. And there we go. So I will see you guys in two hours. So again, use a brush. This brush is uh, from my daughter's kit. You can use any brush. I was going to use a normal brush, but my daughter brought me this. So that's what I'm going to use. Uh, I bought a few more puzzles to do guys, um, so you're probably going to see me do another tutorial on this, but again, Sherlock's Puzzle Glue, pretty cheap, pretty easy, so, and made in Canada. There you go. Alright, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Welcome back guys. So we have let it sit for two hours. Uh, looks like it has dried, so let's do the big flip and hopefully it sticks together. Beat it up there, so we'll glue that a little bit more. But look at that. Pretty cool, eh guys? Flip it. A little sticky there. So now we're going to do the same thing that we did on the front to the back maybe to the front one more time so what I didn't show you in the first video is the dabbing part so we're gonna do that
comment below what puzzle you guys are trying to keep together and why. I like this one to stay together because I'm using it as like a play mat for all my videos. Um, and our, my kids are in the videos too. They usually like touching this thing so might as well preserve it and keep it as long as possible, right? Keep it together, I mean, really. So. Looks like I have hit every spot. But we'll make sure that it's really nicely spread out here. That just soaks it up real quick too. Especially because this side doesn't have the print on it. See how this looks? We might do the other side one more time. We'll see how it ends up. I'm gonna put a little bit more here. Just in the middle. Should sit pretty good. And almost there, guys. Almost there. If you're still with me, thank you so much. If you're not with me, please come back. Just kidding. Okay. We will see how it turned out in a little bit here guys. I'm gonna go wash this brush and uh, yeah, see how it goes. See you in a bit. All right guys, it is all dry. So now we're gonna flip her over. Here we go, solid. I might put another layer on this eventually, but for the most part, pretty good. Probably put something to flatten that out because it's popped up a little bit, but yeah, really good. I'm happy. I'm happy with it. Yeah, appreciate, appreciate you guys watching. Um, any questions, just you guys can always comment below, like I said what puzzle you're working on. Uh, we got a couple puzzles there that we're going to be doing in the near future. Probably uh, probably glue those and show another tutorial, but other than that, don't forget, pick up this stuff, Sherlock's puzzle glue, and your daughter's brush. There you go. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you can, please.